Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Can you join me in welcoming to the stage Josh Harfel and Emerald Ladner? Thank you very much to uh, Josh and Emerald there for that lovely music. 
Good evening and welcome to Grant High Senior School Presentation Night. My name is David Thompson and I have the privilege of being a community leader here at the school. I'd like to welcome the Mayors of the City of Mount Gambier and the City and the District Council of Grant, Mrs uh, Lynette Martin and Mrs Kylie Boston. I'd also welcome to our distinguished guests, staff, parents and the students. And of course the students, we're here to acknowledge the outstanding achievement of our young students in academic excellence and in community service. Uh, academic excellence and community service, it's been a tumultuous year for this group of senior students. Uh, we seem surrounded by crisis on all sides, uh, which reminds me of the curse, may you live in interesting times. Our young students have people screaming at them, always usually in all caps, about existential threats that require some sort of reduction or some sort of escalation, or maybe a lockdown or maybe even a lock up of some sort. Um, but always the refrain is that someone should be doing something, and by someone they usually mean someone else. Well, tonight we celebrate the fact that someone is doing something. Up on stage tonight we will meet our future leaders, our problem solvers, and the creative people who are demonstrating that they're up to the challenges that us as parents, as teachers, and as a community uh, are going to be setting for them. I'd like to thank you for coming, and I'd like to welcome the principal of Grant High School, Fleur Rochock, to the stage. Matu Mankayan, good evening. We acknowledge and respect the Boandik people whose ancestral lands we are meeting upon today. We also pay our respects to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people from other areas of Australia and we honour their connection to country and culture. We honour and respect our community members and elders, past, present and future, and are grateful for the opportunity to, to celebrate the efforts of our students in this beautiful place. Kali I Didu. Many thanks. Now this is the second time I've given this speech today and I'm pleased to be able to tell you that the previous group listened very carefully because they were all able to tell me that I started with the wrong year. So I have projected myself forward to 2023. I'm going to rectify that now. 2022 has been about resilience. We returned to school mourning the loss of one of our students over the holiday break. While those young people most directly affected by this had to remain at home due to the COVID affected staggered start. A teacher shortage combined with the COVID-19 pandemic made putting teachers in front of classes very difficult, particularly in semester one. And in addition to that, we are completely at capacity. So finding enough classrooms has been a challenge. We have had some lessons in some very odd spots. Year sevens entering secondary school while undergoing that staggered start was likewise challenging and to be honest, the demeanour and language of some of our new students was not at all what we were used to and took us somewhat by surprise. However, in true Grant High School fashion, we have persevered and everything was a lot better in semester two. Although student behaviour wise, we're probably still not where we finished last year. As a result, next year we'll see us working with our school community to develop a school-wide positive behaviour approach to building conditions for learning. We are proud of our ability to see a problem and work towards a solution with optimism and commitment. On that note, as we've reached the end of a third COVID-affected year, we acknowledge that everyone is sad about those things we've been unable to do over the past few years, and Grant High School staff are no different. We are very happy to receive feedback but please continue to be kind in the way you write to and about us in emails and on social media and in the way that you speak to us, either in person or on the phone. We've seen significant progress in the implementation of our site improvement plan with Caroline Wakefield leading this process with forensic planning and detail. It has been a joy to observe our educators developing their skills in teaching reading and comprehension during some of our student free days while others of those days have been devoted to work on lesson structure and pedagogy. On the sporting field, we've seen particular success in football and basketball this year, winning state titles in divisions two and three in these competitions respectively. Unfortunately, the continued lack of temporary relief teachers will mean that we must confine ourselves to local knockout competitions next year, with the exception of Adelaide Athletics. We thank the school community for their understanding of these constraints 
acknowledging that other schools will be facing the same prob problem and possibly reaching a similar decision. We are delighted that four new demountable classrooms will be in situ for the start of semester two next year, easing our capacity issues. They will be located where the bike shed currently is, so that eyesore will disappear, and this will significantly improve the streetscape of our school. We continue to lobby for a new gym and are hopeful that meaningful work on this development will commence in 2023. We're saying farewell to three long-standing staff members this year. Colleen Burney, our lab manager, who has moved on to a similar position at Mount Gambier High School. Jason Yates, mathematics <coughs> coordinator, who is transferring to Brighton Secondary School. And Phil Walters, mathematics and science teacher, who is retiring. We thank these three for their excellent service to the school. I have now reached the end of my 30 year as, 30th year as an educator and I have decided it is time I had a break to refresh and rejuvenate for the latter stages of my career. So I will be taking long service leave for semester one next year and for the remainder of this year after tonight. Caroline Wakefield will be principal while I'm absent and I wish her every success in this very rewarding role. Finally, I'd like to thank our staff this year. We welcomed 30 new people to our staff at Grant High School this year. And we finished the year with only a few leaving us and knowing that we have cr recruited wonderfully well in a very competitive environment. As ever, I wish you all the blessings of the holiday season. And after this evening, I will look forward to seeing everyone again next July. One of the joys of being a principal is watching young leaders develop. And the young people who are about to speak to you now are no exception to this. So we will welcome to the stage this year's school captains, Megan Ruolt and Molly Wilde, and next year's school captains, Lily DeLayland and Lachlan Johnston. Good evening students, friends, family and staff. It has been an honour for Megan and I to represent Grant High School as the school captains this year, along with our incredible vice captains, Chelsea and Brianna. We could not have accomplished anywhere near as much without you two. This year was the first fully functioning year of SLED, our new student voice structure created by last year's captains, Rachel and Caitlin. Over the year, our team has worked hard to give all students at Grant High School a voice in decisions that affect them directly by running focus groups and surveys for every proposal we pitched. We worked on many proposals and policies this year, but have narrowed down some of our favourites. To begin with, we worked with our vice captains for our first project to decide how the PIP line for the year 10 second semester should be used. We ran two rounds of focus groups and two surveys to determine what students felt would be beneficial for them during this time, and the majority of the students revealed that they wanted to learn more about finance or improving their personal wellbeing. We proposed that this could be done by replacing the second semester of PIP with additional Kunga lessons to cover these areas. Our proposal for this project was implemented in semester two. Due to the current climate crisis, we decided to begin implementing small strategies to do our part in becoming more sustainable. Our first course of action was a canteen, where we attempted to minimise as much unnecessary waste as possible and make substitutions for greener packaging. The schoolyard should soon be provided with recycling bins to encourage recycling and a cleaner environment. Many smaller projects also remain in the works, such as a clothing swap to assist families while also minimising the amount of textile waste. Our major focus of the year was creating a solution to the lack of sense of belonging in the school. We found that students lack school pride and spirit which contributes to poor behaviour and attendance. A solution we found was to abolish the sporting house teams and move solely to our communities. Whilst we realise this change is not traditional and will set us apart from other schools, it will allow us to hold more community events and give students a chance to become familiar with one group of students rather than two. Given home groups are separated into communities already, these lesson times could be used to organise events such as athletics, carnivals, rather than holding large meetings across the school. 
We have worked on fine-tuning our proposal and seeking feedback from staff and students over the second semester and will be handing this project to next year's captains to hopefully reach a solution that students, families and staff are content with. Authentic student voice was another issue that we tackled this year. We found that students were not always comfortable sharing their true opinions regarding our projects, so we decided to look for new ways of communication that were more comfortable for them. We decided to create an Instagram account for the school where we could ask for feedback online and polls could be launched. This account is joined with Grant High School's Facebook page to deliver news and updates for school events. We also created a staff and student suggestion boxes on Daymap where students can share their feedback or ideas with us year round and even opt in to implement their ideas. In a moment, we are going to introduce next year's captains, but first I'd like to wish them the best for 2023. They've already started brainstorming ideas and we have no doubt that they will implement change at Grant High School that will benefit students. Congratulations to the school captains of 2023, Lily and Lachlan, along with their vice captains, Mia and Riley. Thank you. Good evening, my name is Lockie and this is Lily and we will be your 2023 captains. We are honoured to have been selected for this responsibility at Grant High School. We are grateful to be a part of this wonderful and diverse school community. At Grant High School there is a highlighted importance of student wellbeing, student voice and a commitment to a dynamic and inclusive learning environment. Throughout 2023, parents and students can have a sound knowledge that as captains we will continue to uphold the school's important morals and values of respect, trust and commitment. It is with great pride that we step into the roles of captains as we seek to further increase the interrelations and correspondence between the student body and leadership. As a result, we hope to see the student connectivity at Grant High School thrive in the year of 2023. With an already overarching idea in 2022 of increasing students' sense of belonging at Grant High School, we as captains are making it a goal to continue advocating for this. We are excited to continue the great work of the student-led development team that is already underway this year. It is a great pleasure that we recognise the roles of our 2023 Vice Captains, Riley Seidel and Mia Kleinig, both of which were diligently involved in SLED this year. As Captains, we intend to continue, improve and expand upon the rigorous work that both Riley, Mia and the 2022 School Captains started this year. The 2023 SLED team has, or has already outlined an ambitious set of goals for the upcoming year, some of which have already started to come to to fruition. For example, the concerns of the senior school students were relayed to SLED regarding the student car park and the inconvenience and safety issue that the, that the faded parking lines were. SLED presented this issue to staff and we were able to organise the repainting of the car park in the upcoming school holidays ready for the start of the new school year. We are putting a focus on student input and involvement in 2023. By being more active members of the school community and increasing our presence as captains, we intend to hear the student body more and to also take their feedback seriously. SLED aims to do this by increasing the ways for students to communicate their ideas and feedback to us. Additionally, we want to continue the work of the captains in 2022 to create stronger voices for younger students. As seniors, we believe that it is important for our junior school students to have as much input in the decision making as the older students. One, one main way we are planning on increasing younger student voices is increasing greater school community involvement and connectivity through providing students with increased opportunities to be involved and in the planning and organising of events. Furthermore, a new concept conceived by us as captains is to increase inter-school collaboration by working with the other students from the other secondary schools in Mount Gambier as a way of gaining beneficial ideas for the improvement of Grant High School. Finally, a primary focus for us in 2023 is, which holds great importance to us as captains, but also as students, is the advocacy for the awareness of mental health. We hope to increase positive school and student relationships in order to strengthen student wellbeing, inclusive, inclusivity, and the understanding at the school. Once again, we're extremely grateful for the opportunity to be Grant High School school captains in 2023, and we look forward to working closely with the internal ex and external school community in a valid format to further improve Grant High School in the upcoming year. Thank you. The Academic Excellence Awards for Year 10 will be presented by Miss Caroline Wakefield. So, the award for Advanced Mathematics and Foundations of Senior Science, James Tonnen. 
Advanced Mathematics, Will Cameron. <laughs> Art and Craft and Stage 1 Advanced Music, Yenna Joyce, in Abstentia. Art and Craft, Holly. <laughs> Design and Technology, Kobe Crowhurst. <laughs> Design and Technology, Sam Caldry. Drawing and Painting, Pip Crew. Uh, in Abstentia, uh, English Literary Studies, Jack Leesham. English Literary Studies, Titania Voss. Food and Hospitality, Abby Letizia. Foundations to Ancient Studies and Music, Charlotte Daddle. In Abstentia, Foundations of Senior Science, Anise Kamenidis. <laughs> Health and Physical Education, Lachlan Ray. <laughs> Media Arts, Oliver Manfren. <laughs> Music, Tanisha McNair. <laughs> uh, in Abstentia for Photography, Emily Wurst. Stage uh, Photography and Stage 1 Sports Coaching, Ruby Slotograph. <laughs> Scientific Studies, Georgia Barrett. <laughs> Scientific Studies and Stage 1 Mathematical Methods, Ella Matheson. <laughs> Congratulations to the Year 10 winners. The Academic Excellence Awards for Year 11 will be presented by Ms. Marion Hodson. Agricultural Production and Physics, Amy Porter. <laughs> Just a few here. Art and Craft, Child Studies, English Literary Studies, Legal Studies, Visual Arts Design, and Stage 2 Research Project A, Charlotte Malinowski. Another winner of multiples, biology, digital communication solutions, photography, psychology and tourism, Lily DeLayland. <laughs> biology and general English, Charlotte Patzel. <laughs> Chemistry, James Braun. <laughs> Chemistry and physics, James Winterfield. Child Studies, Harrison Tai. <laughs> Community Studies, Hayley Brooks. <laughs> Creative Writing, Musical and Stage 2 Material Products, that's Jewellery and Textiles, Bethany Humphreys. <laughs> Creative Writing, and Digital Communication Solutions Photography, Remy Rainford. <laughs> Design and Technology, Ian Little. <laughs> Design and Technology, Kyle Johnson. <laughs> Design and Technology Textiles, Ava Simpson. <laughs> Drama, Connor Wilson, who is absent this evening. Drama, Robert Picken. Drawing and painting in absentia, Jocelyn Work. Drawing and painting and workplace practices, Sienna Vanderlind. Essential English, again in absentia, Marnie Formosa. 
Food and Hospitality, Abby Hood. General Mathematics and Studying Stage 2 in Year 11 in Child Studies, Venice Panaras. <laughs> Italian for Beginners, Year 10 student, Alara Jane Chuck. <laughs> Italian for Beginners, again a Year 10 student, Caleb Berlin. <laughs> Japanese for Beginners, Millie Saunders. Japanese for Beginners, Courtney Hargraves. There's a lot of them. I'm going to be crowded off the stage in a minute. Legal Studies, Simone Allen. Media Studies and Physical Education, Ava Norman. Musical, Dakota Keynes. Outdoor Education, Year 10 student, Tanique Burford. <laughs> Outdoor Education, Year 10 student, Lucy Pridham. <laughs> Physical Education, Psychology, Stage 2 Outdoor Education and Stage 2 Research Project B, Ruby Wallace. <laughs> Personal Sports Development, Year 9 student, Chloe Peacock. and Visual Arts Design, Elise Jordan. <laughs> we only just fitted kids. Congratulations, Year 11s. The Academic Excellence Awards for Year 12 will be presented by Ms Jackie Pamarco. Activating Identities and Futures, Music Solo Performance and Physics, Chelsea Ray. <laughs> Agriculture Production, Georgia Mason. Uh, in Abstentia, Biology, Chemistry and Psychology, Gemma Ralph. <laughs> Community Studies, Hannah Costigan. <laughs> Digital Communication Solutions, Photography and Tourism, Maggie McKinnon. <laughs> Digital Technology, Lachlan Johnston. <laughs> English, Dylan McGregor. In Abstentia, Essential English, Elliot Signaletti. English Literary Studies, Scarlett Case. General Mathematics, Madison Cowlin. Legal Studies, Brianna Jones. Mathematical Methods, Neve Leesham. Media Studies, Molly Wild. Uh, music Ensemble Performance, a Year 11, Josh Hartful. Physical Education, Benjamin Young. Specialist Mathematics, Mia Crew. In Abstentia, Visual Arts Art, Cassidy Burston. In Abstentia, Visual Arts Design, Charlotte Harris. <laughs> Workplace Practices, Emily Stockwell. <laughs> Congratulations to all the Year 12s.
The School Captain's Award will be presented by Her Worship the Mayor of the City of Mount Gambier, Mrs Lynette Martin OAM, and will be awarded to Megan Ruvolt and Molly Wilde. So in these next bits, the young people to get, get to stand on stage while we say things about them and they really enjoy it. <laughs> Student leadership is a vital characteristic of modern education and Megan and Molly have done an excellent job of honouring the work of the new student-led development team throughout 2022. They have focused on very specific platforms this year and as a result we are seeing some positive environmental improvements around the school, particularly in the canteen. Their continued focus on improving student agency has also strengthened the platform for future student leaders. We look forward to their good work being continued in 2023 and beyond. Congratulations, Molly and Megan. The Grant High School Worry Nine Engagement Award will be presented by Mrs. Caroline Wakefield, and that goes to Zemma Case. This award is presented to the student who is actively engaged in completing most, if not all, of their subjects through Worry Nine. The student has been given this award, has shown initiative in completing the work on and off site, and has worked positively towards their goals through the flexibility offered through the Worry Nine program. Congratulations, Emma. <clears throat> the next award is the Fire Station Optometrist Science Award, sponsored by the Fire Station Optometrist and presented by Mr. Tony Bolton. And the award goes to Chelsea Ray. <clears throat> Chelsea is a dedicated and motivated student who strives for excellence in all that she does. Her attitude and commitment towards her studies has allowed her to complete the subjects to an incredibly high standard. In addition to her achievement and success in her studies, has, Chelsea has been an active contributor to both the school and the wider community through groups through the school, such as the school musical, SLED, various university experiences. Uh, Chelsea actively seeks extracurricular activities. Uh, her passion for theatre, music, sports and science has seen her involved in a number of significant events, both in Mount Gambier and Adelaide. Congratulations, Chelsea. <clears throat> the Australian Defence Force for STEM Innovation will be presented by Ms Marion Hodson. Uh, at Year 10, we have Ella Matheson, and at Year 12, we have Chelsea Ray. <clears throat> These awards go to young Australians who display commitment to innovation and motivation in taking on science, technology, engineering and mathematical challenges. Ella has shown a dedication and talent in the STEM field and takes her studies very seriously. Ella is a keen sports person and combines this with science to investigate the amount of electrolytes in a sports drink for her scientific studies folio. Ella is on track to pursue a career in medicine and is achieving this by studying subjects above her year level and participating in the Adelaide University Science Experience at the end of this year. Well done, Ella. <clears throat> I've already mentioned uh, what a dedicated student Chelsea is, so I'll just go through some of the stage two subjects that she's done uh, very well in over the last two years, it's physics, chemistry, mathematical methods, specialist mathematics, music ensemble, music solo, English literary studies, creative arts, and research project. You only have to do four. Did anyone ever tell you that? <laughs> um, Chelsea uh, was a participant in the National Youth Science for Thor Forum in 2022, STEM Girls in 2021, Conoco Phillips in year nine, was a, Lee, a Kwan Lee Doe scholarship recipient and is studying human biological sciences at Flinders University. Well done. <clears throat> the Australian Defence Force Awards for Leadership and Teamwork will be presented by Miss Marion Hodson. At Year 10, this will go to Jarrah Auschwager. <clears throat> and at Year 12, Molly Wild. <clears throat> the 
Uh, these awards have been created to acknowledge the achievements of young people who have demonstrated outstanding qualities of leadership and teamwork within our school. Molly, of course, has been our school captain and has been nominated for the ADF Long Term Leadership Award and her work with STEM um, has set the example for many students to follow. Uh, Jarrah has demonstrated leadership among her peers uh, of the Year 10 cohort. Jarrah has been nominated for the ADF Long Term Leadership and Teamwork Awards for her commitment to community programs. An avid surfer and strong swimmer, Jarrah is passionate about water safety for children and young adolescents. She's been a member of the Road Nippers and has completed training as an age manager, which provides participants with the skills and knowledge to facilitate nipper training. She's also a qualified swimming instructor. Well done. The Ampole Best All-Rounder Award will be presented by Ms Marion Hodson and will be presented to Neve Leishman. <laughs> Neve has been a conscientious student over her time at Grant High, making the most of her determination and commitment to achieve well in the academic sphere. She, she has achieved high academic results, receiving academic awards in four out of five years of her schooling for different subjects and completed five stage two classes with the highlight being an A plus in research project. Well done, Neve, but don't move. The UniSA John Petkov Excellence in Mathematical Methods Award will present, be presented by Deb Hosking and is presented, big surprise, to Neve Leishman. <laughs> This award is presented to a student who has studied Stage 2 Mathematical Methods in 2022 and is achieving academic excellence. Neve is a dedicated and motivated student who strives for excellence in all that she does. She has a positive attitude towards her studies and this is demonstrated by her ability to work independently, support peers and readily seek advice when, requ when required. She probably can also speak. <laughs> Congratulations, Neve. The UniSA John Petkov Excellence in Special Specialist Mathematics Award will also be presented by Ms Deb Hosking and is awarded to Mia Crew. This, is, this award is presented to a student achieving academic excellence in Stage 2 Specialist Mathematics. Mia is a dedicated and hardworking student who demonstrated an outstanding understanding of the content covered. She so, showed an ability to work independently and approached her studies confidently and consistently. Well done, Mia. The People's Choice Credit Union General Mathematics Student of the Year Award will be presented by Mr Lachlan Wookie and is presented to Madison Cowland. Madison has consistently strived for excellent all excellence all year as well as demonstrating a thorough understanding of the content of the course through her tests, she's been able to apply the ideas to a range of contexts and discuss the limitations of mathematical models fully. And my English teacher heart really rejoices at this next bit. Her engaging writing style ensured that her investigations were interesting to read while also covering the concepts to the highest level. She picks up key concepts quickly and is able to develop a depth of understanding by completing challenging problems. Congratulations, Madison. But don't move. The Barry Money Group Award for Continual Learning and Continuous Improvement, sponsored by the Barry Money Group, will be presented by Cherry Carson of the Barry Money Group. And that award goes to Madison Cowlett. This award is presented to a person who has demonstrated outstanding commitment and effort in pursuing continued learning and improvement. We're pleased to present this to Madison. From the time she was in year eight, Madison has consistently applied herself. She seeks and acts on feedback in order to achieve optimum outcomes and we wish Madison the best for her life beyond school. Congratulations. <laughs> the uh, 2022 Sportspersons of the Year Award will be presented by Miss Caroline Wakefield. Female goes to Chloe Peacock, and the male award goes to Sam Caldwell. 
The Sports Person of the Year awards are to recognise those students who have been consistent contributors to the school sports, sports program during 2022. So this goes for inter-house sports, inter-school sports, as well as their willingness to represent the school at the secondary school sports of South Australia, knockout sports competitions, and their efforts in local southeast secondary school sports. Their contribution to other extracurricular activities such as Come and Try Days, Nine Aside Football and PE Week are also acknowledged. Congratulations. The Grant High School Contribution to School Sports Awards. This is an award made to Year 12 students and it shows their contribution to sports over five years at secondary school. Points are allocated for student participation in the previous sports that we talked about. So there needs to be a, a consistent approach across all five years. The points are then collated and given a final score representing the total contribution. It also acknowledges their effort and consistent participation and sacrifice that they've made over the years to school sports. Oh, have I read the names? No. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <coughs> I got really excited. <laughs> Female, Emily Pridham. And male, Zane Young. Well done, Zane. We're investing in a step for next year because my knees can't take too much more of this. Um, the Bruce Miller Rotary Club of Mount Gambia Lakes Excellence in Performing Arts Award will be presented by Ms Marion Hodson, but in her role as President-Elect of the Rotary Club of Mount Gambia Lakes. And the award goes to Emerald Ladner. <laughs> Emerald has been a highly active member of Grant High School Performing Arts through her, out her years here as, student, as a student. She chose to excel in tenor sax saxophone, as we saw earlier, and guitar in her final year. Throughout her years of secondary study, she has contributed musically to school and community events, including the 2022 musical as a member of the musical band. Congratulations, Emerald. We are going to miss you very much. <laughs> the UFS Chemist Scholarship for 2022 will be presented by Mr John Williamson. And this award goes to Honey Millard. This scholarship is awarded to a Year 12 student who will be pursuing further study, abides by Grant High School's Code of Conduct, and is conscientious and dedicated. It is with great pleasure that the 2022 UFS award is presented to Honey. Honey undertook a highly creative and time-consuming course load this year studying English Literary Studies, Visual Arts, Media Studies, and Material Products. Honey showed great ed dedication to complete uh, challenging tasks this year even when the going may have been tough. Well done, honey. <laughs> the Auntie Viv Ma Award will be presented by Mr Jim Ma. The award recipient is Amali Carter, but the award will be received this evening by Lisa Wilson. The Viv Mar Award was established by Grant High School in 2019 to commemorate the commitment of Auntie Viv Mar to the community. Auntie Viv was a passionate believer in social justice, which she demonstrated throughout her career as a social worker. She was also someone who stood up for the rights of others. A proud Aboriginal woman, Auntie Viv was a valued community member and had a positive effect on the people around her. This year, it is a pleasure to recognise her efforts for the presentation of this award to an Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander student in Year 12 who has demonstrated consistent application to their studies through regular attendance and engagement, contribution to the local and wider community through mentoring or leadership, which can be public or behind the scenes, acknowledgement and pride in their heritage and identity as an Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander person. Amali Carter is the 2022 recipient of the Auntie Viv Mar Award for her outstanding peer mentoring and leadership through the SASTA program and her Certificate Three in Community Studies. Amali has aspirations to complete the UniSA Aboriginal Pathway program and go on to a Bachelor of Education, and I'm very excited about the next bit, in high school. 
We congratulate Amali in her absence. The Kimberly Clark Debating and Public Speaking Award will be presented by Ms Jackie Pomarco and goes to Mia Kleinig. <laughs> the Kimberly Clark Award for Public Speaking is awarded to a student who distinguishes themselves and their opinions before an audience. This year, shall students compete at the Rostrum Voice of Youth and a Stedford Debating Competitions. Uh, Mia was the best speaker of her round, uh, and so congratulations and uh, a deserved award winner. Thank you. The 141 Emily Redding Award, Memorial Award for Academic Excellence, uh, presented by Miss Jackie Pomarco, goes to Josh Harfel. <laughs> Over the past four years, Josh has demonstrated an outstanding work ethic and drive to achieve excellent results in all facets of his school life. Uh, he takes on a demanding course load, but still finds time to compete in musicals and uh, obviously do all the activities here and play music for the school at our extracurricular activities. Um, he practices a lot, many, many school hours going to practice. He actually actively seeks feedback to improve his results, which also sees him being very successful at stage two subjects. Congratulations, Josh. <laughs> the 141 Excellence in Woodwork Award will be presented by Mr Matthew Kersman and goes to Nathan Anderson. <clears throat> Nathan has designed a one-of-a-kind leisure chair that has taken hours to create with its tight curves and lines. I'll give the quote from the judge. It was judged by, the competition was judged by Mr Nigel Boyd, the General Managing Operations at Jubilee Sawmill. Quote, the standout for me is the laminated chair. The final product looks amazing. Considering the degree of difficulty to design a piece like this and the craftsmanship required to produce a quality final product, Nathan Anderson should be very proud of his work. And we sure are. the privilege of sitting in that chair and my goodness it was a beautiful piece of work. Unbelievable for a young person. Now those of you who are frequent flyers at these events know I'm about to take a deep breath for a really good reason. The 2022 MEGT Australian Apprenticeship Network Provider School Based Trainee of the Year Award will be presented by Kelly Agnew and goes to Renee Merritt. Renee recently concluded her 18-month school-based traineeship with the Department for Education, working with junior classes at Grant High School and completing a Certificate three in Education Support. She demonstrated exemplary time management planning and organisation while balancing a full school load along with several part-time jobs, also managing to complete her SACE and obtaining a uni aggregate. Her ability to develop strong relationships with staff and students through positive communication, patience and good humour made her the perfect candidate for employment at Grant's High School during her gap year next year and we're so pleased to have her on board again. Congratulations, Renee, but don't move. <laughs> the Grant High School 2022 Citizenship Award will be presented by Mayor Kylie Boston from the District Council of Grant and the award goes to Renee Merritt. Renee is the worthy recipient of the Citizenship Award for 2022, for all those reasons mentioned earlier, but her personal conduct as a friendly, respectful and vibrant member of the school community is welcomed by staff and peers alike. She is a model student both academically and socially. She stands strong in her values and that is reflected through her interactions with all members of the school community. Congratulations, Renee. We're looking forward to seeing you again next year. Another deep breath. Group Training Employment Award for Outstanding Performance in a Flexible Industry Pathway will be presented by Mr Lincoln Hannett and the awards go to Charlotte Costigan and Kyle Johnson. Charlotte completed a Certificate II in Community Services in June and following this commenced the Certificate III in Early Childhood Education and Care. 
Maydeck trainer Will Newman Graves provided the following comments. Charlotte consistently demonstrates an outstanding work, outstanding work ethic and attitude towards her study. She has a naturally caring and supportive nature and I strongly believe she will make an excellent worker in the education industry. Message from Laurie Sellen, the TAFE SA trainer in Certificate 2 in Construction, says about Kyle that his development throughout the course has been excellent. Kyle's willingness to learn and to improve is a credit to him. His skill level and attention to detail is fantastic. He needed minimal help with his assessment project, which was of the highest quality. And I wish him the best for his future. Side note, Kyle will soon commence a carpentry apprenticeship and Grant High School also wishes him well in that endeavour. Congratulations, Charlotte and Kyle. The Banner Mitre 10 Building Trades Award will be presented by Miss Jackie Pamarco and goes to Riley Bonham, who is, will receive this in absentia. Uh, outstanding skills that have shown him, uh, that sh should show him take on advice to make him succeed in whatever trade pathway he deserves. Riley demonstrates high quality with hand and power, power tool skills and attention to detail when completing his practical work. Well done, Riley. The Banner Mitre 10 Building Trades Scholarship will be presented to Sam Caldry. The Grant High School Building Trades Scholarship is awarded to the school student who has demonstrated a high level of competency in the technology workshop and is also interested in entering the building and construction industry. Sam has demonstrated initiative when leading his group to complete quality dog kennel for the Animal Welfare League and we look forward to seeing where his future holds for him. Well done, Sam. The Rudock Art Gallery Visual Arts Award will be given in abstentia to Elliot Signoretti. Uh, Elliot has developed and nurtured his talent, seen him uh, achieve high personal goals. His folio of work has demonstrated strong personal aesthetic and a desire to experiment with media. As a result, his combination of talent and determination has resulted in some highly successful pieces of traditional and digital art. So well done to Elliot. Another date. The Les Hill Rotary Award for Student of the Year will be presented. That's not Caroline Waite. <laughs> the Les Hill uh, Award for Academic Achievement is awarded to the highest academic achiever at Grant High School in 2021. Les Hill was a member of Rotary for 50 years and was a well known local historian, so the award is named in his honour. In 2021, Grant High School's highest academic achiever was Angus Langsmith, with an Australian tertiary entrance rank, or ATAR, of 97.55. Angus has taken a working gap year this year and will begin a Bachelor of Rural Science degree in 2023 at the University of New England, Northern New South Wales, Armidale campus. Congratulations, Angus. It's good to see you again. <laughs> The most outstanding students in Year 10 and Stage 1 will be presented by Mr Stephen Bell. The awards for outstanding students in Years 8 to 11 are presented to students, who, or 7 to 11 in fact, are presented to students who achieve the highest grades in all across all subject areas. So many of these students may have achieved straight A's in the subjects they have undertaken this year. In Year 10, in absentia, an Anise Kermanides. and Rachel Mitchell. And if you're listening carefully earlier, it will be no surprise that the stage one recipients are Charlotte Malinowskis, Malinowski, I beg your pardon, and Ruby Wallace. Congratulations, girls. And of course, we'll look forward to seeing, or in a couple of weeks' time, who the Year 12 top student is. 
That concludes the um, formal part of this evening, but I think that Lily and Lockie have something to say. Not sure. Oh, dear. Uh, as Ms Rochok said at the commencement of this night, uh, she is taking leave until uh, the start of the second semester next year. So we, as a student body, decided to just present her with some flowers to acknowledge her great commitment, diligence and her, just her overall, overall great work that she has done throughout her whole years at Grant High School. And we just want to say thank you and good luck with your leave and we can't wait to see you back here uh, next year in semester two. <laughs> Um, so that concludes the night. Thank you all for coming and congratulations to all the winners. Uh, thank you. <laughs>